Hey y'all, y'all know who it is. So, you're a felon and you're thinking about getting into trucking. Well, I'm about to give y'all some helpful hints to help get you started on the right track to being a successful truck driver. So, tip number one. You're going to have to probably start at a lower end company to get your foot in the door. Yes, as you probably all learned, hard work and dedication pays off in this industry. If you don't want to be known as a steering wheel holder and you want to be known as a good, honest truck driver who makes money, provides for their family, provides for themselves, and will step up to the plate and actually be an honest, respectful person and be respected on this interstate, one, you may have to start out with a lower end company to build your reputation and your experience up. If you're starting out trucking straight out the gate, now this is not just felon, this is not just a felony experience thing here, it's every truck driver for this matter. You're going to have to probably start somewhere small or somewhere big and in a, where you're a small little puddle, you're a small little person in a big world, all right? Now the thing about driving over the road, it's dangerous out here. And I would recommend starting with a, with a bigger company, a mega carrier on that aspect. Granted, I'm not gonna wish death upon anybody, but when you're first learning, sometimes a mega carrier is where to start out at. The reason being, and I hate to say this because I'm sort of a hypocrite when it comes to this because I didn't start with a mega carrier, but if something happens, you're less of a chance of getting fired or, you know, with a mega carrier. They have accidents all the time. Their main, most of these mega carriers, Prime, CR England, CRST, JB Hunt, Trans Am, hell, the national carriers, they're mainly all self-insured. So that being said, they can handle the accidents. So starting off with a mega carrier may be a good start with you, plus get that experience. Now, I will say, you need to you need to stay with a mega carrier for I would recommend even though it sucks I would recommend two years with them now I say this for a reason one actually two reasons one you're gonna build up that experience so that way you can go on to a better company two you can get a feel for the road now Yes, when you start out with a mega carrier, once you get six months in, they're gonna be like, hey, you wanna train? Don't do it. Don't train your first six months on the road. One, you haven't even experienced a full year's worth of seasons on the road. Two, you need to have at least five years experience to start training. Now, I know all you haters down there are gonna comment, honest to God, I'm sorry, but it's true. You don't need to start training without at least five years over the road experience. That way you've experienced all 48 states, you've experienced all four seasons, you've experienced these idiots on the road, You've, ha you've got a good feel for backing into a parking spot. You've got a good feel for just driving in general. Now, felons, <laughs> once you get them two years at a mega carrier, you need to start looking, unless you're just content where you are, you need to start looking up to other branches. Now, you have that two years. You're going to be able to join better companies now felons most of the time y'all could not get hazmat I'm sorry guys that's not really a, a company thing that's more of a federal thing because you gotta take background checks and stuff like that 
Now, if your felonies are older, yes, you can actually get a hazmat. There's a lot more money in hazmat loads. But what I would recommend if you're a good, hardworking man or a woman with a felon and a felony and you want to sit there and get your foot in the door, I would recommend flatbed. Flatbed, it's a good paying industry. It's pretty steady freight and it's hard work. And usually the pay rates are pretty good. Most of the time, you it's not uncommon to get 50, 60, 70 cents a mile, 20, you know, 25 to 40% of the load. It's not uncommon. Flatbed, it is a little bit more extensive work. <clears throat> You're gonna freeze your butt off in the winter time. You're gonna roast in the summer. I've done flatbed. I just to let y'all a little in on me. I've hauled a little bit of everything, everything from cattle all the way to tanker. Got a, I got my door. I've got my foot in the door on just about everything. So felons, once you get about two years in, I would recommend trying to find a smaller company and work on your flatbed experience or whatever you want to get into. When you first get into it. I would recommend pulling a box or a reefer. Now I say this for one reason and one reason only. Boxes are different. The wind really affects you. And crosswinds can almost tip you over. You'll get an experience driving something like that, so you'll be good at backing up and maneuvering other uh, trailers box you can't see past the trailer you can't really see behind you you got blind spots you got to worry about when you got to worry about and reefer it's just a, ha a maintenance in itself so i would recommend pulling a box and reefer first just to get your foot in the door so you'll learn how to drive a, a 53 foot tandem axle you learn how to back where you can't see behind you and stuff like that perfect just to let y'all know. Now, felons, don't let your charges, your past, discourage you. This industry is looking for good, hard-working people like y'all. Felons, y'all had to work to get out. Y'all had to sit there and prove y'all selves. Y'all are a good fit for the industry. As long as you follow I'm going to give y'all five tips following truck driving starting out, all right? One, be very respectful to your truck drivers. Talk to these older folks, these people that's been out here. I, If you see me, you see uh, me in heaven bound on the interstate, I'll be more than happy to talk to y'all, to give y'all pointers and everything like that. Wisdom goes a long way in this industry, all right? When you talk to these older folks, ask them, you know, ask them questions if they're willing to talk to you. Ask them, hey, what did you do to get started in the industry? How did you get started? What did you do? How did you do it? Why did you do it that way? Most of them be happy to help you. Two, be courteous, have common courtesy on the road. If you are governed at 60, two to 65 mile an hour and a truck's coming up on you slow down or pull up past the truck you're trying to pass in the hammer lane and let that truck by don't hold up traffic be common be be nice about it be polite whenever uh, they get past you flip them high beams a little bit flicker them so they'll let you on by and everything like that <laughs> three have a cb in your truck a CB is not only a tool out here, but it's also, instead of y'all playing on your phones, texting people driving down the road, this radio right here, find a trucker, talk to him. That'll pass time better than a phone can. Four, when you're going through a truck stop, five mile an hour, that's the speed limit in a truck stop. Yes, drivers come flying through the truck stops and everything, and I don't understand it. 
five mile an hour is plenty. Last tip, fuel islands. Don't do a 30 minute break, fuel, go. Pull up, if you gotta top off the thermos, go ahead. But don't sit in that fuel island and waste away the clock. Sit there and uh, get in the fuel island, pull up, once you get done fueling, grab you a cup of coffee, hit the road. If you need to stop longer, find a parking spot and go in and get your food and stuff like that. Don't take forever in the fuel island, you'll just make a lot of us mad. Fellas, don't be discouraged. You guys can do just as good out here as us. Alright? Just because you have had a past doesn't make a difference out here as long as you're willing to make a better future for yourself. I hope these tips and everything helped you guys. I hope that you guys stay safe out here. And if you guys want to become a truck driver, I wish the best of luck to you. Like always, keep the rubber side down and the shiny side up and keep them chicken lights shining. Y'all have a good one.